Hi there, everybody. Jason Ryan here. How you doing? So I just want to give you a, a little assignment, okay? And this, these assignments are especially good for loosening up your breakdowns in cartoony type animation. All right. So when you're really trying to um, figure out breakdowns and what's the most entertaining way of getting from one pose to another. So here's the assignment. Pick any two poses that you want. Any two. It doesn't really matter what they are. And then you have to figure out like the most broadest, cartooniest way of getting from that pose to the next pose. Um, this assignment is especially good, like I say, for cartoony animation, but it also kind of teaches you and makes you think about what's going to lead what in the particular action. All right? So, for example, we have these two poses here, and it's basically just like a guy there looking this way, looking off kind of bottom screen left, and then it goes to here, right, where he's presenting that idea, all right, whatever that thing is off screen, okay, boom, over here. Um, so if I left this to the computer to in between, basically it would be very, very even. You would just sort of get like the head sort of like halfway going from this position over to this position, the body just sort of leaning over and getting the weight and then the hand just sort of coming off like the bottom of the screen and, and sort of presenting the idea, right? Which would be totally fine. It would totally read. The story is clear. Um, but when you're trying to do cartoony animation, it's not just about the posing. It's not just about the beginning and end. It's how the character gets from that pose to the next pose, um, which can make it entertaining or not entertaining. Um, so like I say, it's just pick any two poses. It could be a person sitting down, standing up, or standing up, sitting down. Like how are they going to get from that pose to the next pose? Okay. So what I like to do is just sort of like think about like, okay, what could I do to get from there to there that would take it away from being very, very even. Um, and a good way of actually thinking about it is like go the opposite way, all right? Like anticipate it in the opposite way that you're actually going to go, all right? So let's just kind of figure it out. Let's have fun with this, all right? So we have here, uh, so maybe I'll bring him sort of like over this way, all right? So we can maybe get like a little squish and maybe we can... Uh, Get the arms to bend the opposite way. All right. So we can do that. Squish them down. All right. Like that. And then how am I going to get this head? Like I could start turning the head. I could lead with the head, sort of going over this way. I could kind of do like this type of thing, sort of like getting like that line of action going. So I could try that. I could maybe go this way. Like, and I just kind of draw a circle and just sort of like a sphere there, you know. So I'm just kind of indicating where I want like the eyes to be or where I want the smile to be, that type of thing, right? And I'm just kind of indicating that in there. So in here, maybe we'll kind of push this over a little bit more. Um, and then and the, the idea is like it's not that this is going to be um, like a showreel piece or like that. It's just a matter of like, how can I loosen up? How do I get like from one pose to the next? And uh, taking control of the computer, right? So maybe here, now that I've got this sort of like line of action going this way, maybe we can start to, to lead it off this way. So maybe we can really push that going that way. Like really leaning on this arm now, right? And then maybe we can start to lead with the elbow coming off here, coming off the where he's leaning. Okay. Now, there's no right and wrong way. There's a million ways of actually doing these assignments. Again, it's just like a fun way to loosen up. All right. Squish the eyes. Maybe start to, to open it up, maybe. All right. Push that way. Okay. And then let's have a look and see if we can do like another breakdown in here. So maybe we'll start to get him up to this position up here. Um, maybe I'm thinking like the, the presenting hand would be maybe like the last thing to come down. So we'll lead, we're leading sort of like with a head, like in all this action. So it's going to go zoop and around up, up to there, right?
Okay, push this up a little bit. And then we can really raise this arm up. So it's really leading with that elbow and shoulder, like leading up here. All right, and then we're gonna like flick it over the other way. All right, so this way we can get like a nice up move here. Like, don't get possessive over these drawings. Just sort of like rough them in, like so you can go in and you can change them up later on if you really want to, right? The, the, the purpose of this is just to kind of loosen up, get like as free as you can, all right? Now, I might even go a little bit beyond that. Like, let's kind of go like up here. And then maybe start to reverse this elbow down and let this hand continue over. So we get this kind of a thing, like elbow coming down like that. Going a little higher, so right up onto the fingertips. All right, and then if I really want to really push that boom, that down move, maybe we'll lead with the body, and then like as like the body's coming down, like we can start to bring that hand down, so we can really push that even more as well. So as I'm coming down here, I can do this, right? So you're going zoop, up to there, and then really push that, right? So leading with the elbow, dragging that hand right back. Maybe even getting like a little fist on there. Squishing them down. Squish, squish, squish right there. Now we could keep the eyes open here if you want, or we could close them. All right, boom. All right, and then coming out of that. So now we can go, okay, yeah, let's really push this down. Keep the fist there for maybe another, another breakdown, and then we can Go into it like a straight right after that. Again, don't get possessive over your drawings. Like these, this is just like having fun planning, right? Boom, right? And then we can go even more. Like we can just kind of pop this head up like here. So it's like that's almost finished. And then do it like an overshoot here where it goes a little further than that position. So you get that accent. Boom. And then let it pull back into here. Right? And get this up. So now like that's reached its final destination pretty much, just kind of slowing in there. Get this up here. All right, so like now you can kind of see like, what we're kind of doing, like between those two poses, we've got like all that animation, right? Now I'm kind of, I'm thinking like, oh man, maybe like on this one here, I'm not going to get too possessive over it, but maybe it'd be better if we uh, turn the head the other way. So maybe like going this way. Start leading like with, with, with his ear, you know, if he had an ear on there, right?
right? So we get this little broader move right there, right? And then boom, right? So if I was going to start to time this out, you know, maybe I would put, like, start off just putting the whole thing on twos. So, like, right now it's all on ones. So if I was going to time this out, I just, if I was going to do like this as like an actual animation assignment, start off with it on twos and see how it feels. See if there's any slow parts or any fast parts that need like breaking down. All right. So now let's put a little hold at the end. I'm like uh, 12 frames maybe. Okay, and then let's see, some parts in here, like I would like to kind of get like a little bit more of a hold. So like zoop, up to here maybe, you know, get like a little bit more time in those. This may be like four frames. Okay, let's have a look at that. Okay. Yeah, and that's feeling pretty good. So let's do, do a breakdown between these two so it's all sort of in the same timing family, all right? So right in between these two. So coming up to here. So what are we going to do? So we need to get that elbow to start to come down, right, and this hand to continue up. So we're trying to figure out, like, what's that breakdown right there? So we'll just do that. And then in here, we're looking at the spacing, right? So it's nice and broad between here and here. So we just want to keep that going. So I want to try and favor the top part up here, all right? So we get like our head right there, get the eyes up. All right. So again, have fun with this. Like, you know, choose these two poses if you really want to, and then find a different way of actually getting from that pose to that pose. Um, or choose a different thing, you know, like sitting to standing, standing to sitting, you know, whichever way you want to do it, all right? There's no hard and fast rules. It's just about making it fun and dynamic and non-computery, all right? All right, so up, 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 right, and then we're going to go beyond this, right? So, like, I'm just trying to see, like, the arc right here. And this is the beauty about 2D is that you can really see and control, like, these paths. So, we, you know, we can kind of go, okay, yeah, so we want to try and get, like, the hand, start going into a fist right there, and then start to lead into that. All right, and here... We can start to come down here. I'm going to maybe even add it like a little bit of a, of a blink in here, right? Maybe close his mouth a touch. And then here, maybe get a little scrunch going. Okay. And then start to come down. Right. I'm just kind of indicating like a, a little center line in there. Okay, like that. Okay, let's have a look. And there he is presenting something, right? Let's get that hand in there. Make sure we get nothing disappearing. There we go. So have fun with this. You know, again, like just try to be as broad and as entertaining as possible. Like choose like two poses that are either very similar to each other. So you have to kind of go beyond and around and into that pose or choose 
poses are completely different from each other, like a pose up here and a pose down here. And you have to kind of get from that pose to that pose. So be fun, loosen up, have fun with your mechanics, and don't get possessive over these little tests. They're just about, you know, loosening up, moving the character around, and being as entertaining as possible. All right? All the best, everybody. Take care of yourselves, and we'll see you the next time. All right? Bye.